Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we're going to be taking a look at yet another micro SD card. This time it's the Estrella, or Estrella, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. I'm assuming it's a Spanish sort of pronunciation, so the double L will be Ya, yeah. so Estrella. Um, micro SD card. Anyway, this is a 32 GB card that I picked up off of Gear, uh, sorry, not Gearbest, GeekBuying.com. GeekBuying.com. And uh, it was about $5.99 US, so pretty comparable to the Mixa cards that I picked up from Gearbest a couple weeks ago. But um, this particular card was on sale, $5.99. Uh, I figured I'd give it a go. Um, I've been on a bit of a kick where I've been messing around with Raspberry Pi, Odroid sort of builds, uh, especially for retro gaming. So I've been using lots of different cards to flash images and stuff like that. And instead of using one card to flash a million different images, I decided just to get uh, a bunch of cards and flash a whole bunch of different images and then swap them back and forth and see how we go. So I figured, uh, you know, for six bucks, 32 gigabyte card, not bad. Now. As far as the packaging is concerned, you can see it's not all that impressive. It's pretty minimalist. It's kind of got like this stock photo silliness here with a tablet, guys touching it, and all of a sudden these you know, data cubes are popping out or something. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but uh, I mean, it doesn't look uh, bad. It just kind of looks a bit cheap, I guess. It doesn't look as impressive, I should say, as the mix of cards. I really like their packaging. I thought it was cool. But uh, as you can see here, uh, pretty bare bones. Everything's in Chinese. Can't read any of this stuff. But uh, anyway, I cheated a bit and I already opened it because I figured, you know, these little plastic things, they're a pain. So anyway, uh, you can see the card here. The printing on it is okay. It's kind of got this kind of almost like weird texture to it. So it kind of looks a little cheap. So uh, immediately I'm saying to myself, this is a little bit suspect. Uh, if you've watched any of my other micro SD card videos, you know that flash memory is uh, one of the things that uh, is always quite suspect when it comes from China. You never know if you're going to get the actual capacity that the card or USB stick says it is, uh, what kind of read write speed you're going to get. I mean, this particular one doesn't even have any read write speeds on it as far as I can tell unless it's on here somewhere that I can't read. But anyway, that's not a big deal because as with all of my SD cards, I always run them through the H2 Test W program. Now I'll leave a link down in the description so that you guys can download it for yourselves, but it is a German uh, developer who's come up with it. So everything's in German when you go to the site, but don't worry, just download the program and install it. It's super easy and you'll be able to switch it to English once you fire up the program. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the test and we'll look at the read write speed as well as the true capacity of the card. Okay guys, so as you can see, the Estrella, I'm assuming is how you pronounce it, I'm not really sure, uh, it has a verified capacity of 30.1 gigabytes, which is fairly typical for a 32 gigabyte card, so that's good, it's a good sign. Um, as far as the read-write speeds, they're pretty average. My write speeds, I was getting about 11 megabytes per second. My read speeds, I was getting about 20 megabytes per second. But again, you have to remember that uh, you, know, you may get different mileage out of this card depending on your equipment. Uh, I'm using an external SD card reader it's only USB 2.0 so again it could be some speed throttling there due to the equipment that I'm using so uh, you know you may get better results anyway uh, I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to pick up the Estrella um, the only actually the only thing that I can think of that is has that name is a Spanish beer I think so I guess that's how you pronounce it but anyway if you want to pick up this card I'll leave a link down in the description uh, it is from geekbuying.com and you can usually pick them up for about five to six dollars US anyway that's gonna do it thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been Gizmo Joe, signing off.